everyone welcome back again how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great and i hope you all are still working consistently on how to become a better version of you how to become a better version of yourself keep working and what do we have for today today we are just going to be discussing about a topic that says is this stopping you? Some time ago, I was opportuned to be a part of a large international organization that provides leadership programs that helps many students, professionals, achieve personal growth and career success in their respective fields and also owning on their leadership skills. But proud to that, I didn't have some experience in some areas which definitely would have made me less qualified for the task. But something in me told me this, that you have everything they need. And I knew that was the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I said to myself, oh yes, I can do this. Yes, I have everything they need. I can do this. Now, I listed the things that I can do. And I also listed the things they were even so very challenging. And what did I do? I kept the ones that I can do on one side. And I focused more. I concentrated more on the ones that were very, very challenging. I took necessary actions on them. I acted on it. My focus was more on the challenging ones. And when I was done with it, I submitted my proposal and it was shortlisted and finally approved and that was all. Now I could have said I do not have all the skills. I could have said I do not have the experience. I could have said I do not have all it takes. I could have said I do not have all the listed requirements or even made the requirements. I could have given myself a lot of excuses. But guess what? I didn't. I did not do that. I didn't walk by what I saw. I walked by faith because I knew there was something great inside of me. I knew there was something powerful inside of me. I knew that as a child of God, I am unlimited. I knew that I am more than enough. I knew that I am capable of doing more, becoming more, and achieving more. I knew that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, and that makes me special. And I knew that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I also understood that God has not given me the spirit of fear but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. What is that situation that you have right now? How do you see that situation? Do you see it as something that is so scary, difficult, or impossible? What is that situation? How do you see it? And if you do see it that way, why do you see it that way? Why? And could that be what's stopping you? What is stopping you? What is stopping you? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it excuses? Is it challenges? Is it comparison? Is it lack of motivation? Is it lack of passion? Is it distraction? What is stopping you? What is stopping you from believing in yourself? What is stopping you from believing in your God-given abilities, God-given skills, God-given talents? What is stopping you? Now, having that courage isn't doing something without fear, but rather stepping out in faith and facing that fear of yours, that is courage. That is courage. Step out in faith and face that fear. Step out in faith and crush 
that mountain. Step out in faith and violently take what belongs to you. Sometimes you need a violent faith to achieve your goals and dreams in life. If you are not violent about it, you cannot achieve anything. A violent faith. And do you know that you have so much potentials lying inside of you more than you realize? And sometimes we are the ones stopping ourselves because of our limiting beliefs. We are the ones stopping ourselves. Many people have goals, but they never attempt them. Why? Because they didn't believe in themselves. And if you do not believe in yourselves, how can you achieve that goal of yours? And finally for today, today I challenge you to challenge that thing that is stopping you. Challenge it. Do away with every form of excuses. Excuses do not help you to make any progress in life. I have never seen anyone that complains their way to success. No. Become an action taker and not an excuse maker. Take action and always remember this. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just take action. Do not stop yourself. Do not limit yourself. If it is perfect, you will have absolutely nothing to learn from it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just take action. Take that step of faith and do not allow anything to limit you in life. Believe in yourself and believe in your God given abilities. Believe in yourself because there's so much potentials inside of you that you realize there's so much inside of you. A lot. God has deposited a lot inside of you. A lot of potentials inside of you. A lot of gifts, a lot of skills, everything beautiful inside of you. Do not limit yourself. Don't. If you have been limiting yourself, stop limiting yourself. Challenge that thing that is stopping you. Challenge it and stop it before it stops you and ends your dream. Okay, and that will be all for today. If you find this topic interesting in any way, please leave a comment below and click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I will see you again in my next one. And until then, believe in yourself. Believe in your God-given abilities. Activate that violent faith of yours and stop that thing that is stopping you. Stop it. And always remember this, that you are unstoppable. Yes, you are. You are unstoppable. Do not forget that.